Neuroform Easy Stent System Procedural Video. Establish aneurysm to be treated. Using standard endovascular practice, gain access with an access length guide wire and a neuro renegade high flow microcatheter. Establish and maintain continuous flush with sterile heparinized saline through the microcatheter. Position the neuro renegade high flow microcatheter at least 12 mm distal to the aneurysm neck. Withdraw the guide wire, leaving the microcatheter in place. Release the stent delivery wire from the clip on the dispenser hoop. Hold the stent delivery wire and proximal end of the introducer sheath together to prevent stent movement. Then carefully remove the system from the dispenser hoop. Confirm the tip of the stent delivery wire is entirely within the introducer sheath, is not kinked, and the introducer sheath tip is not damaged. Partially insert the introducer sheath into the 3.5 French compatible RHV connected to the microcatheter. Tighten the RHV. Open the Y connector valve of the RHV that is connected to the sterile heparinized saline flush. Verify the fluid exits the proximal end of the introducer sheath. Loosen the RHV. Advance the introducer sheath until the colored tip is fully seated in the microcatheter hub. Tighten the RHV firmly. Be sure to pull gently on the introducer sheath to ensure it is secure. The introducer sheath tip should not move. Advance the stent delivery wire to transfer the stent from the introducer sheath into the microcatheter. Ensure the introducer sheath does not move while advancing the stent delivery wire. Movement of the introducer sheath during stent advancement may indicate inadequately tightened RHV and may result in premature deployment of the stent within the microcatheter hub. Continue advancing the stent delivery wire into the microcatheter until the white fluoro saver mark enters the introducer sheath. The white fluoro saver mark is 135 centimeters from the stent delivery wire distal tip. When the white fluoro saver mark enters the introducer sheath, the stent is about 90 centimeters inside the microcatheter. Loosen the RHV. While holding the stent delivery wire fixed in place, Remove the introducer sheath. Set the introducer sheath aside in sterile field for later use in the procedure if necessary. Slowly advance the stent delivery wire until the white fluoro saver mark reaches the RHV. Under fluoroscopy, advance the stent delivery wire until the distal stent markers are 1 to 2 millimeters from the microcatheter tip marker. Withdraw the microcatheter slightly to remove any slack. Position the stent for deployment by aligning the stent markers across the aneurysm. Maintain approximately 4 mm of stent length on each side of the aneurysm to ensure appropriate neck coverage. When the stent positioning is satisfactory, deploy the stent by carefully retracting the microcatheter while maintaining the position of the stent delivery wire. It may sometimes help to maintain some forward pressure on the stent delivery wire to ensure it stays put. Do not use the stent delivery wire to push the stent out of the microcatheter while deploying. The stent's distal and proximal markers will expand as they exit the microcatheter. Confirm deployed stent position under fluoroscopy. With the stent fully deployed for distal wire access, position the microcatheter distal to the stent. Once the microcatheter is in the desired position, remove the stent delivery wire. Advance an exchange length guide wire through the microcatheter. Remove the neuro renegade high flow microcatheter while maintaining the position of the exchange length guide wire. Replace with an appropriate two-tip microcatheter to begin aneurysm embolization.